summer's morn Down by black waterside I'd be gazing on the flowers that did bloom all around When a pretty Irish girl I spied Oh, it was red and rosy was her cheeks Golden yellow was her my name is Catherine Collins and I'm chairperson of the Oyster Haven and Global Residents Association. This is Robert Cronin and this is Mark Green, our treasurer. My young sweetheart Our group in Oyster Haven is six years old and we're in a subcommittee of Catholic Community Council and this project here, I suppose, in Novel Car Park will be one of our biggest. We try and do a couple of projects. His daughter would her hair all hanging down. They'll be rocking the cradles. Five years ago, this particular place where we're standing now was pure waste ground. Uh, a derelict site, really. When you come into the village of Novel, you wouldn't think anything about the village in the, because the minute you come into it you said this was only a derelict site and we thought as a community association that would be nice to do something here in this area where it was waste and we could put a car park and have amenities and where people could safely park both for the church and the shop and the public house and restaurants and other things. First of all, we had to have the area, which was a waste ground, we had to have it levelled and have it tarmacked. And after that, we had the stone wall behind us here. We had that built. We had to have the back area there totally cleaned off. New topside had to be uh, got because the stuff that was there wasn't suitable. And we had the whole lot planted up, as you can see. We also had the um, information sign directed as a seat. Um, we had a uh certain fundraising efforts that we made uh, through uh, card games, quiz nights and also we had funding from uh, from Leader who helped us, West Cork Leader, who helped us to uh, put this project in place. Uh, we also got uh, support from our local county council. Well, last Christmas we had a big community effort here and we um, ran a Christmas market. Everybody had their little stalls and we had some Irish dancing and it was to mark the occasion of the lighting of our Christmas tree. We have a permanent Christmas tree planted here. So we did that last year. We also installed two lovely cast iron ornate lights in the car park out of Finally, we'd like to thank people who helped us along the way, previous committee members, Kate Hart, Tony O'Carroll, John O'Leary and Kieran Collins. We'd like to thank everybody who did support us in any way, shape or form in completing this project.